What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, your number one source for all things Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today we're diving into a topic that's both a blast from the past and a harsh reality for the present. Mike Zimmer taking full responsibility for the defensive collapse against the New Orleans Saints. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future updates. We're on the road to 11,000 subscribers, and with your help, we'll get there in no time. Alright, let's get into it. So, if you've been following the Cowboys for a while, you know Mike Zimmer has a history with our franchise. And recently, that history came back to haunt him. In the Cowboys' recent loss to the Saints, Zimmer referenced something most die-hard fans will remember with a cringe, the infamous pickle juice game. Now, some of you younger fans might not know what that is, so let me give you a quick history lesson. Back in 2000, in Week 1 against the Philadelphia Eagles, Zimmer was a newly promoted defensive coordinator under head coach Dave Campo. And let's just say, it wasn't a great debut. The Eagles dominated the Cowboys, winning 41-14, with Duce Staley running for 201 yards. The Eagles famously drank pickle juice to prevent cramping in the Texas heat, and well, that game went down in Cowboys history for all the wrong reasons. Fast forward to 2024, and here we are again. Zimmer is back as the Cowboys defensive coordinator, and after a brilliant week one performance against the Cleveland Browns, where the defense smothered Deshaun Watson and held Amari Cooper in check, things fell apart in week two. The Cowboys defense couldn't stop Alvin Kamara, who racked up 180 yards from scrimmage and scored four touchdowns. The Saints totaled 190 rushing yards, averaging a staggering 5.8 yards per carry. Ouch! Cowboys fans, this feels like deja vu, right? Drop a comment and let us know if this loss brought back memories of that infamous pickle juice game for you. Zimmer wasn't shy about taking full responsibility. He acknowledged that his scheme didn't put the defense in a position to succeed. But here's where it gets interesting, Micah Parsons had a different take. He blamed the loss on a lack of effort, something Zimmer disputes. Zimmer said the team was lined up fine but got caught out of position when they tried to move the front line. Who do you side with here, Cowboys Nation? Was it a scheme issue or an effort issue? Vote in our community poll and let's get a conversation going in the comments below. Zimmer admitted that he's seen this defense operate at a much higher level in practice and it's clear that he's determined to fix the issues. He referenced how, after the pickle juice game, he made stopping the run his number one priority, and to his credit, he turned things around back then. So the big question is, can Zimmer pull off a similar turnaround this season? As frustrating as this loss was, Zimmer's leadership and accountability are something the Cowboys need. This is a guy who's been through the highs and lows, and he knows how to get a defense back on track. He reminded us that tough people fight through it, and that's exactly what this team needs to do moving forward. Speaking of moving forward, do you think this was just a one-off bad game, or should Cowboys fans be worried about the defense for the rest of the season? Let us know your thoughts down below. Let's talk about what exactly went wrong. Derek Carr only attempted 11 passes, but managed to throw for 243 yards and two touchdowns. How? Because the Saints established the run, and when a team runs the ball effectively, it opens up the entire playbook. Zimmer admitted that he couldn't get the Saints into third down situations, which would have allowed the defense to shine in pass rush situations. Instead, the Saints controlled the game on the ground, and the Cowboys' defense couldn't stop them. Do you agree with Zimmer that the scheme was the main problem, or do you think there is more to it? And what about Micah Parsons' comment that it was an effort issue? Cowboys Nation, we want to hear from you. Drop your takes in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. The parallels to the pickle juice game are eerie, aren't they? Zimmer's focus on stopping the run has been a cornerstone of his coaching philosophy ever since that infamous day in 2000. But here we are again, with the Cowboys struggling to stop the run. And to make matters worse, it's still early in the season, meaning there's time to correct the course, or potentially watch things unravel further. 
Now, Zimmer has a reputation for being a master at adjusting his defense after a bad performance. But he doesn't have a lot of time to turn things around. Unlike his first stint in Dallas, where he had a couple of seasons to right the ship, this time Zimmer is not under contract for a second year. That means he'll need to fix these issues fast, or the Cowboys could find themselves in a pickle by the end of 2024. Speaking of the Cowboys' 2024 season, what are your predictions? Do you think this was just a minor bump in the road, or are we looking at deeper issues? Let us know in the comments. Before we wrap up, I want to remind everyone to subscribe to Cowboys News TV if you haven't already. Your support means the world to us, and we're so close to hitting our goal of 11,000 subscribers. Every single one of you helps us continue to bring the best Cowboys content to YouTube, and we can't thank you enough. So, if you're enjoying the video, smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Your interaction helps us grow, and we're grateful for it. As we move forward, the Cowboys will need to make quick adjustments if they want to avoid another defensive collapse. Stopping the run has to be priority number one. Alvin Kamara exposed a weakness in this defense, and if it isn't addressed, other teams will look to do the same. Zimmer knows this, and he's committed to getting it right. But it won't happen overnight. The players need to execute, and the coaches need to put them in the best position to succeed. Alright, Cowboys Nation, that's it for today's deep dive into Mike Zimmer's response to the Saints' victory. What do you think? Can Zimmer fix the defense in time, or are we in for more performances like this one? Let's discuss in the comments. And don't forget to answer today's poll, is the Cowboys' defense more of a scheme issue or an effort issue? Thanks for tuning in, and remember to keep that Cowboys spirit alive. Until next time, stay safe, stay strong, and go Cowboys!